few people that asked for some advice on how to declutter and organize the bedroom. And I have found that the bedroom is often the very last room that we end up organizing, decorating. Even in my own home, we have a goal this fall of repainting and ripping out the carpet um, because I think we usually focus on the rooms that are shared with the rest of the family. So before you start working in your bedroom, I want you to think about how you want it to look, how you want it to feel. So what kind of mood do you want in there? Do you just want it really cozy? Do you want it maybe a little dark and moody? Of course, I'm sure you want to sleep well in there. Um, so what do you need to do to create that? Do you need to paint? Do you need to bring in some decor? Do you need blackout curtains? What's going to make it nice in there for you when you're relaxing and going to sleep? You also might have some things that you are missing in the room for storage. So look around, do you need a dresser? Do you need nightstands? Do you need blackout curtains? Hi Maisie. Uh, in the closet, do you need new hangers? Do you need baskets or bins? But before you rush out and buy a bunch of stuff, you know, it's time to do the decluttering first. So remove anything from the room that shouldn't stay there. That might mean that you're recycling it, it, you know, tags, packaging, whatever. It could be garbage. It could be that you have some donations to pack up. Maybe there are some things that you want to give away or sell. So get all the things out that don't fit within your goals for that space, for the activities, for the mood that you want to create. And then when you know what you're keeping, look around and see where you need to fill in the gaps with storage or with decor. And then, you know, we live in our houses, things get messy. So after you've created that mood that you want in there, you've created the structure, it's organized, you do have to maintain it because things will still migrate in there, right? So kids might bring toys in, you know, we might have things that we've brought in that don't belong and they go somewhere else in the house. So just give yourself some regular time to restore order. So. You don't have to make the bed every single day if you don't want to. A lot of people like that. They feel very good and focused and they like that structure of making the bed every day. Other people, they don't really care. They just want to wash the sheets once a week and call it good. So whatever works for you, um, but just take some time to clean back up, restore order at least once a week, if not daily, and just enjoy that space.